everyone welcome back again to my channel in this channel I'm going to show you how I'm going to sew this a-line female child neck dress neckline so this is the back panel which I'm working on I've already done the front panel this is the front panel let me take this away this is the front panel you can see how the how the neckline looks so smooth and you won't see any rough edges this is the neckline for the front panel so I'm going to keep it the front panel away then what this tutorial is all about is about the back panel so this is the back panel and this is the wrong side of the fabric and this is the right side of the fabric so in this fabric in this design this a line formation i'm not using lining i decided to just leave it like that but i will be using this material this same material as well to cut out the the, the line to, to tidy up the edges of the ham hole and on the neckline so let's get down to it so what i'm going to do here is this this is a fabric this fabric i got it from when i finished cutting my fabric for the a-line so this is the right side so i'm just going to turn the right side like so turn it like so this is the right side so i would now take my ankara This is my Ankara. You can see there's the opening at the back. So I'm going to show you how to tidy up the edges here. So what I'll simply do here, I'll put this down a bit. Then I'll place this right side of my Ankara on, on the neck, on the right side of the material as well. So what I'm going to do here, I'll simply arrange it like this so you can see it's all arranged make sure this is inside so the next thing i'm going to do here i'm going to take half an inch as a beginner it's very important you measure at your allowances which you are going to stitch out from so i can get all your measurement right so here i have half inches so i'm going to take half inch like this i'll take half inch I'll mark it. I'll take half inch. I'll mark it. I'll take half inch again. I'll mark it. So I'll just be taking half inch round the ham hole this way. Then I'll take half inch round the neckline straight down like so. And I'll curve it like this, like this, and half inch round there as well. So now I'm putting the allowance here see so at the, at the edge of the opening here i cut that by half an inch so i just create a curve here like so half an inch half an inch so you can see So I'll go up like this also. I'll create a curve here like this. Half an inch. Half an inch. The reason why I'm doing this is because I like to get all my measurement right. So, so now that we've gotten all the measurements right, the so next thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to take my pin, I'm going to take my pin and pin this, attach it to the fabric like this, like this, like this, and this way, and this way. As you can see, I've pinned this fabric to the other material. 
so i'm going to set this to my sewing machine i'm going to stitch from here follow the ham hook of stitch from here straight down straight down and i'll come to the neckline i'll stitch from here like so then this so i'm going to continue stitching from here so i'll just follow the shape then i'll turn my fabric this way this is the opening so remember i left half an inch my sewing allowance so i'm going to sew on top of the half an inch which i left so make sure you arrange it properly and i keep on stitching so when i get to the end of the opening at my back so i'm going to turn my machine like a circle around that back like so I'll just keep on turning it like this. This can you just turn your fabric. So now you can see I finished stitching. I stitched from here this way. I stitched the neckline this way, this way, this way, then this way. So now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to follow the shape of this of my airline gun. I'm going to start cutting from here, from this way. Cut, 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 and cut to the middle. Come up again, cut and cut. So I cut through the middle like so. Then I'll start cutting from there. Cut from the neck, follow the neck off. Basically, just follow the neck curve of the of the A line. There are different ways you can hem your neckline. Different ways, different ways. So when you are cutting, just make sure you follow the cutting so you will make mistake. You don't need to rush it. Make sure that the curve of the shape. So as you can see, I finish cutting out the shape of my neckline, my hand hole. So this is the runs out of the fabric. If you turn it like this, this is the runs right out of the fabric. So the next step for me to do here is to turn it this way. Then I will start notching. When you are notching, please don't notch on the thread that you sew. Notch before the thread. So I'm going to notch up like so. So I'm going to notch from there, stop there, notch here, notch here, notch here, notch here, then notch here. As you can see, I finished notching the top. The next thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to top stitch again on the places I notch at the bottom like this. I'm going to stop stitch again, run this way, this way. This way, this way, this way, this way, and this way. Now you can see I finished stitching this side, this side, this side, this side. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put my hands in there like so. Then I'm going to flip it over and arrange it. So guys, I finished turning this, turning it over. As you can see, I have my iron here. So this iron, I use it to make sure I arrange it accordingly. 
and I took my iron to press it to make sure they are all in shape and they follow the, the stitching as well so my iron is of the lowest level so let's see just take your time and this is the final art look of the neck and the ham hole lining so I will later put a, a button here and a hook which I used to hook it together like so this is the back and this is the front you can see the shape of the ham and the other side you can see the shape after I use my iron to iron it out and before I forget at the at the back here what you simply do is just take take one inch I always advise you that you always mark out your one one inch very important so you won't get your your measurement wrong take one inch from here then you double stitch it like so double stitch or you double stitch inside this is gonna be inside like this so take one like one inch from the back and double stitch in like so and you stitch all through so that's the end of the tutorial so friends this is the end of the tutorial if you do please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and i will see you on my next video for now one peace one love and bye for now bye for now